the man who moved the continents. What if the continents weren't always where they are today? What if Africa and South America were once joined, a single landmass torn apart by time itself? In the early 1900s, one man dared to say exactly that. His name was Alfred Wegener, and his idea would change how we see our planet forever. Wegener wasn't a geologist. He was a meteorologist, a scientist of the skies. But as he studied old maps, he noticed something strange. The coastlines of Africa and South America fit together like puzzle pieces. He gathered fossils, rock formations, and climate evidence from across the world, all pointing to the same conclusion. In 1912, Wegener proposed the theory of continental. Drift. The idea that Earth's continents were once united in a giant supercontinent he called Pangaea, and that they had slowly drifted apart over millions of years. But scientists at the time laughed at him. How could continents move? They asked. There was no known force strong enough to shift entire landmasses, so Wegener's theory was dismissed as fantasy. Tragically, Wegener died in 1930, during an expedition in Greenland, never seeing his theory accepted. Decades later, new discoveries in plate tectonics proved he was right all along. The continents do move, not by magic, but by the slow, relentless motion of Earth's crust. So was Alfred Wegener a dreamer ahead of his time, or a genius the world refused to believe? What do you think? Let me know in the comments, in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories that changed our understanding of the world.